Do you have the keys? <laughs> I got him. Welcome back to Jeff's Barbershop, the show where we give people haircuts and we make the world a much more, da a more dangerous place for people to live. I'm your host, Jeff Wittick. This week has been the best week of my life. I feel like a genius. We launched a successful hair product line and I got nominated for Documentary of the Year. And with Steven dying, it would just be nice to, to uh, fucking, what was I talking about? It would just be nice to dedicate that award to him and have him watching down from heaven or looking up from hell, wherever he's at. I just want him to be proud of us. Last year we were nominated actually for this show and we lost. And when we lost, I went on an embarrassing rant. I lashed out, but at that time in my life, I was not myself. I was under the influence of a lot of drugs and trauma to my brain was causing me to act aggressive and irrational. And now I am a new man. I feel like fucking Bradley Cooper in that movie Limitless when he takes the fucking brain pills and he becomes a genius. I think it's only right we go back to Dr. Amen and rescan my brain and find out, am I actually a genius or is this all just in my head? How's it going? Before we start, I want to thank Current for sponsoring this episode. Current is the coolest way of banking, and they are giving away $10,000 to 20 of you guys. All you got to do is go down to the link in the description, and we're going to be picking 20 of you that are going to get 500 bucks a pop. All you got to do is go down to the link in the description, sign up for Current. Thank you, Current, for sponsoring this episode. Guys, this is my psychiatrist, my brain doctor. He's helped me get my brain back on track. He's a real doctor. He's done a ton of school for this shit. No fucking around, no bullshit. He's the real fucking deal. F all you haters. He's Justin Bieber's brain doctor, Mike Tyson. You guys may remember him from the docu-series where he scanned my brain, were able to locate the brain damage and sort of repair it, I'd say, at this point. Getting better. What is worse for your brain, football or cocaine? And answer it completely honest. I, I don't care, I hate football. I gave a lecture at the Future of Medicine conference and this wealthy person said, should I let my son play? And I went, no, brain is soft, skull is hard, skull has sharp bony ridges, your brain runs everything. And he goes, but he really wants to play. Well, what if he really wanted to do cocaine? Would you get him a drug deal? Because yeah. the damage is about the same. Yeah. Neither one of them are good for the brain. So don't do football or cocaine. That would be a good start. Unless, no, unless. You want to get on with the haircut? Let's go. I got the master brain in my hands right now. The tables have turned. We do our own brain scans live in here right now. So this is actually the inside of your brain and it's looking good. It looks like you got a lot of uh, things shooting out of it. Radioactive activity. You don't want to do any designs or anything, right? I don't think that would be good. I know you probably are dying for the results on my brain. Um, so I'll just come right out and tell you, my brain is healing. I'm actually in much better shape than I was six months ago when I had my first brain scan. You have a great cerebellum. Nice. Hmm? Look at this. This is how they used to do brain scans back in the old days before you came around. <laughs> they would just take a, a in one of these guys and just go right in like this. This way you know it's the real deal. You just get right in there and then you just lift it up. Brain's good, close it back up. Get the fuck out of here. Done. How do we take a shit brain and make it into a smart brain? So three things. One is brain envy. And then you avoid things that hurt it. Contact sports, drugs, yeah. alcohol. I don't drink any alcohol. Being overweight. I only mess with this stuff. You ever have this during the day, in the morning? You drink NyQuil? I suggest everybody have a little bit of this during the day. Just a couple sips just to keep you going. It's delicious too. They got these new flavors for kids. We did a rating on my brain last time we met and my brain was a four out of 10. It was a little devastating to hear, I'm not gonna lie. I was a little bummed out about it when I first heard it. But now we have an updated scan and my brain's looking better. It's better. Do you wanna go ahead and give me a new number? Seven. My brain jumped up three points? I think it's at seven. Go fuck yourself and fuck you too, Kyle. Keep smoking fucking weed. I'm a fucking seven out of 10 now in six months. Talk all the shit you want on the podcast. I'm smarter than all of you and richer. Is that good to tell your employees? No. Take, cut out the last part. I have a guy that I want to show you. It's this guy on the TV here. His name is Francis Ngannou. He's the heavyweight champion of the world. He has the hardest punch out of 
any human being on the earth. Feel bad for that guy, but it looks like you just got a customer right there. Oh, you that know? is so bad. Yeah, I met up with him last week. That's me right there. No, he's not hitting you. That's after he hit me. He gave me a shot to my brain. Right where it's hurt. Yeah, right on the That's spot. That's a bad idea. That's a bad thing. But hey, I'm in the comedy business now. Is that good for your brain or bad for it? I'm gonna go ahead and say that that is bad for my brain, but good for my bank account. Cause that's a viral TikTok right there. <laughs> you want a little swig? <laughs> so this is such a there? cool setup. It's nice to have everything in here so we could go to the guest. It saves a lot of time because people don't want to meet up with me. Like I'll ask them to come over and get the haircut and they're like, oh, I got to check my schedule. I got to do this and that. And I'm like, you know, I'll come to you. I'll be outside your house. Oof, that stuff kills all the germs. So what's tryptophan and how do I get my hands on it? I often recommend 5-HTP because yeah. it's 10 times more powerful than tryptophan and does the same thing. Take a look at this guy right here. If you had to make a bet, your life savings right now, that this guy smokes weed, what would you say? With that hat, absolutely. Absolutely. What do you give his brain on a scale of one to 10 from doing an external scan just with your own brain? Do a brain scan on him right now. Five. Five. You're a five out of 10. You drinking my NyQuil? Off the record, microdosing mushrooms. People say that that improves your brain and depression. Cause I did a little bit this morning, but that was like four hours ago. So I don't even, I barely even feel it. I'm just messing, I'm just messing with you. I can't, you've done so much for my brain and my mental health that I can't even mess with you. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty badass, huh? Yeah, I'm not sure what my wife will think, but. <laughs> Yeah, it's going. What the f are you doing here? Giovanni, uh, I'm collecting my brother's stuff. What the f are you doing here, Steven? I saw you f***ing die with my own eyes. I watched a bullet blast in your chest and f***ing blood shoot I'm everywhere. I'm Steven's twin brother. I just haven't talked to him in years. What's your name? Giovanni. Giovanni. You, want, you expect me to believe Steven has a twin brother, Giovanni, from New York? Why do you have eyebrows painted on like that? Fuck you. Fuck me? No, I'm sorry. I'm not that. Steven didn't talk back ever like that, so maybe you are not Steven. There's one big difference between me and Steven. Okay. I'm the one with the big dick. What? I'm not laughing. You want to see it? Whoa, this guy's way better than they Steven. They call me fucking Big Dick Giovanni. All right, well, maybe you aren't Steven then. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hey, I'm, I'm here for a job or whatever, you know? I, all right, yeah, I mean, I'm sure there's a couple of things you could do around here. Well, first, take care of this fucking security guard over here that's being an asshole to us. Hey, get the fuck out of here. What are you doing? Get the fuck out of here. My dad. <laughs> I just wanna go to burn a man and suck my own dick. I just wanna go.